Hi, I'm Adam from Bright Gale. And I'm Tatiana. And today we're talking about my favorite iPad feature. So, what is your favorite iPad feature? Well, it should come as no surprise since you taught me about it. So, this is something we have in common. So, I didn't, re- my mind exploded. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. So I now, often on the go, use my iPad as my second monitor. I love having Apple devices. They unfortunately have me locked in since like junior year of college, which is way too long ago. (laughs) But I mean, it's very convenient being able to like copy paste from your phone to your laptop to your iPad. Like there are lots of features that they have created that makes that synchronic work. Is that a word? Yeah, it's a word. It's totally Sure. Keep going. (laughs) We're going to keep going. So that makes that work. And it's great because now I can use my iPad as my second monitor. So at home, I have a different setup. This is not what I do at home, but I do have an iPad and I don't need to bring around cords. Anything that is extra, I just have the two monitors and or I have my laptop excuse me I have my laptop and I have my iPad and I can set them up in a coffee shop in a conference room because typically I spent 70% of my time on the go and if I'm meeting with clients like it's very convenient to have my iPad just to take notes because that's all I do is take notes (laughs) and you do that too so tell me about your workflow so you showed this to me about a few months ago yeah, so I, I showed this to you a while ago. Um, I've been using the iPad as a second display. There was previously, and it still exists, an app called Duet, Duet Display in the App Store. And so I've been using my iPad as a second display since that app was released. So it's been a handful of years. Apple has recently incorporated that into uh, Mac OS and iOS, so it's now a native feature, which is great. And I know you're saying, oh, well, I hate Apple. I have a Windows computer. But I have an iPad, which means you don't really hate Apple. You, you're splits. But anyway, if you have a Windows computer and want to use an iPad as your second display, Duet Display is still the answer. Uh, it's a great app in the App Store. Go get it, and you can do the exact same thing that we're doing here. Um, but yeah, I, I am a big fan. This is my on-the-go. Re- this is my iPad. This is my laptop. This is my on-the-go mm-hmm. setup. Mine's uh, over there. Yeah, Just exactly. Like, yep. <laughs> and um, if, if you don't know how to do it, We'll do it real quick right now. All right, so uh, it's really simple. It's actually built right up in here. Uh, you can do uh, screen manager, and my my iPad is called Tab. I click that, and oh, then lovely. next thing you know, uh, my iPad is right here as my second display. I can grab this window. I can uh, there move it, it on over. It's totally live. It is extremely convenient not having that extra wire because here are the two products that I already natively have. So working with them together, it's just a very natural workflow. And having that second screen definitely increases productivity twice as fast. <laughs> it's proven. It's science. It's science. It's great. <laughs> so, so yeah, like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm torn on Apple products. So my, my, my main work computer is a MacBook Pro. Um, but in the reality, my life is split 50-50 between Mac OS and Windows. So if I don't have an iPad, what is a good alternative? Uh, this. What is this that appeared on the table? <laughs> <laughs> this is a portable monitor by AOC. Uh, USB-C, which will accept the video signal, also has a mini HDMI port, two USB-C ports and uh, has a little battery in it. So uh, even if you know you, you don't want to drain your battery, you could charge this before you leave. You can connect an external power supply. Um, and it's just a monitor. This particular one supports touch. Uh, of course, Mac OS does not support touch natively, so it does not work. But if you had connected this to a Windows computer, 100% touch compatible. And it's a great solution. If you have a Windows How computer. How much is it? Like This isn't 200? much. I, I want to say it's. 200 ish dollars plus okay. or minus some amount of dollars. Got it. I love all of this on the go capability because, I mean, obviously one computer is not enough. My, my question in my head is like, is this waterproof? Can I be on the beach no, with this? No, you can't be on the beach with this. Why not? I want to be on the beach with this. That one probably costs more. <laughs> but yeah, so, okay. so this monitor is great. It's super small, compact. 
has this nice little handy dandy uh, carrying flap. And How there many it is. inches is Th it? Throw it in your bag. Oof. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like throwing Ask it. Ask me hard questions. Uh, this is a 15 inch ish, 14 something in that ballpark. Anyway, it's this big. Here's a 13 inch MacBook Pro, or 14 inch MacBook Pro. It's that big. Throw it in a bag, off you go to a coffee shop. I love this. There it is. This is great. And then even if you are in a conference room or if you're doing some sort of a team workshop, this is all very helpful because having that second monitor can save a lot of time. And this is these are some very great alternatives that have come up recently. Yeah, in, in meetings, I regularly use my iPad or an external monitor. Uh, so I'm looking at my monitor and I'm sharing my screen with people across the conference table if it's not a conference room that has, is set up. To, you know, to share content. I just bring, mm -hmm. pull up my iPad, people on the other side of the table can see it, and I just do what yeah. I need to do, and everybody can look at the screen at the same time. Well, Super and, handy. And even if you're in, in a meeting where you have somebody that's on a call, on a Zoom call, whatever it may be, but you need to type notes, like, I mean, you have that option, and it's mm -hmm. extremely, extremely handy, and for 200 bucks, I mean, that saves a lot of headache. Yeah, absolutely. If you have any questions about what is a good external monitor or portable solution, feel free to leave a comment below or ask some questions. Okay, see you later.